denying the Jewish people their right of self-determination by claiming that the existence of a state of Israel is a racist endeavour. That's anti-Semitism. Applying double standards by requiring of it that is Israel a behaviour not expected or demanded of any other democratic nation. That is anti-Semitism. And we have seen that in the United Nations. Using the symbols and images associated with classic anti-Semitism to characterise Israel or Israelis. Drawing comparisons, shamefully, of contemporary Israeli policy to that of the Nazis. That is anti-Semitism. And holding Jews collectively responsible for the actions of the State of Israel. To the shame of the free world, including here in Australia, we have witnessed such acts of anti-Semitism being committed and worse committed following the worst atrocity inflicted upon the people of Israel in a single day since the Holocaust. Instead of support, we have seen those living under the freedom of democracy in this country calling for the extinction of the State of Israel from the river to the sea. That is anti-Semitism. There will be no peace in the Middle East while the Palestinian cause is championed by terrorists by Hamas and Hezbollah, and by those who in support of this cause are prepared to make excuses for terrorists, to engage in acts of anti-Semitism, and draw an equivalence between the barbaric and calculated attacks of terrorists on October 7 and a nation state exercising its right of self-defence.